In south central Nevada lies a wide open space known as the Silver Trails Territory. Our first destination was Cathedral Gorge State Park, which we headed to by way of Cane Springs Valley. This scenic route covered a vast expanse of desert terrain just waiting to be explored. The unique landscape was formed ages ago when huge lakes began draining and the land uplifted. Towering over a long, narrow valley, Kershaw Ryan State Park was formed by these same waters, which created its steep canyon walls. At Cathedral Gorge, a dusting of high desert snow greeted our arrival. Here at Cathedral Gorge State Park, just outside of Panaca, Nevada, you're going to see some really spectacular and amazing formations uh, and different geologic wonders that have been deposited here as, uh, as long ago as 5.3 million years ago. Uh, at that time, there was a lake that was here, and about a million and a half years ago, that lake drained away, and all the forces of water, nature, uh, have all caused these deep erosional processes to happen, and they've left these unique formations, these badland formations, for everyone to come and explore. Spires and pillars carved by centuries of water and erosion left a labyrinth of passageways, tunnels, and trails to explore. As we made our way into the maze of rock formations, our world quickly transformed. Vertical rock formations became castle walls, and winding paths became secret passageways that could lead to rooms filled with treasures. We made our way through a web of stone passing unusual nooks and crannies. Creating its own path through the maze, we discovered dripping snowmelt and a perfectly shaped natural sky observatory. Making our way back to the trailhead, we marveled at the texture and form of this landscape and reflected on how water continues to shape it. Before leaving, we stopped at the visitor center to reconnect with Zach, who wanted to share with us information on an animal that hasn't been seen here for hundreds of years. A red-tailed hawk eyed us from its perch high up in a tree as we made our way to the building. Hey guys, I wanted to show you this really cool bison skull. This was found here in the park back in 1975 and through radiocarbon dating uh, it was determined that it wasn't an ancient bison, but it was actually the bison bison that you have right now on the northern Great Plains. But still, a pretty interesting find. 